What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Jay Real. Um, it's been a very, very, very long time since I've been, since I made an actual whole YouTube video on here. Um, I just mainly upload shorts and things along with my other social media. Um, but I just come on here to let you guys know that life has been crazy since I last uploaded an actual YouTube video. Um, there's been ups and downs, so many emotions. It's insane and it just keeps coming, you know? Um, I'm moving across the country and it's crazy to realize that that's actually gonna happen. Um, I'm still trying to like process and understand like the one thing that goes through my head all the time is like, is this actually happening? Like that's all I'm thinking about. Not, I'm not actually thinking about it, but like subconsciously and like in the back of my head, it's always kind of just replaying. Like I wake up every day and I'm like, wait, am I actually moving across the country? But yeah, so I've actually lived in Wisconsin for 26 and a half years, my whole life. And within about a month, it was a very fast, quick change, rapid change. Um, I am moving to Arizona, so literally across the country. Um, so it's exciting. It's an emotional roller coaster. There's so many things going through my brain. Um, like I said, like lately, especially within the last three months, um, so many things have been changing just so fast. I've been doing so many different things that I'm not used to. And then it's, it's cool because I've always wanted to, it's mainly like traveling. I've been, tra I've traveled more in the last about three months than I have in my whole entire life. So I've been just trying to do things, getting out of my comfort zone um, and just, trying to see different things, be exposed to different things, so I can really keep growing as a person and uh, just kind of fitting into who I really want to be as a person and like creating the life and being surrounded by the people that I want to and how I want to live um, and things like that. So, but it hasn't been easy. There's been a lot of ups and downs, especially fitness wise. Um, it's been crazy. Um, honestly, lately with like knowing I'm going across the country and things like the gym hasn't been as exciting as it once was about a couple weeks ago. You know, I was more in the mode to be like, yeah, let's go to the gym. Um, but I think just with everything going on, there's just high stress levels and I try not to stress myself out. Um, the one thing that keeps me going and that I hold on to like every single day is just knowing how much growth I'm gonna get out of doing this because you've always seen like the people talking about how when you move out of your hometown and you literally leave it, the amount of growth and things that happen in your life just excels at a crazy rate because you're in this whole new environment that you've never really been exposed to and you have to get used to a whole new state, the whole new things in that state, the people, the places, the things. Um, so it's just, it's exciting, it's sad, it's, you know, but I think the one thing that is gonna help this um, is knowing that I can really, you know, embrace the person that I want to be because being in your hometown and growing up here for so long, you kind of create, you kind of create an identity of who people think you are. Um, just because, you know, you've been around them for so long, whether it's family, friends, um, whatever the case is. And you kind of create this identity of someone and then they look at you like 
that's who you're supposed to be. So when you do these different things, they kind of look at you a little different because they're not used to the way you're moving now. You know, and I'm not saying people have been hating on me because I haven't gotten any hate. My family supports me in everything I'm doing and I love them to death for that um, because granted, some families wouldn't. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. And I'm sure there's people looking on the outside that question like what I'm doing or, you know, who I've become and how I've changed and things like that. Um, but all I know is I'm changing for the best of me and I mean I've learned a lot of lessons throughout these 26 and a half years here in Wisconsin um, and I've kind of I'm kind of cultivating the person I want to be I've honestly grown a lot in the last year just a lot of things happening in life but you know sometimes those things you go through are the things that kind of get you to where you want to be even if it's something that isn't necessarily good um everything happens to you for a reason i believe that um because if those things weren't to happen it wouldn't put you in the position to become the person you want to be um you just have to learn from those things and that's one thing i struggled with was learning from my mistakes because i kept repeating the mistakes over and over again and i think just actually learning from my mistakes and understanding that no one is really gonna save you and you have to save yourself and do what's best for you regardless of the outcome um, is a big lesson I've learned. And sometimes it's not easy to do those certain things, whether it's leaving, leaving your family, leaving people, um, doing things that won't benefit the other person. Um, I just think that sometimes you do have to be a little selfish. Uh, granted, it's not easy because you develop relationships with certain people and you're scared that if you, you know, leave those situations, or you make these crazy jumps like moving across the country you're, you're scared of what's gonna happen and i think a lot of people struggle with being in those comfortable situations they're scared to make that jump because they don't know what is gonna happen next um but at the end of the day if you never make that jump you're just gonna pretty much stay the same the same person you you are today if you don't get uncomfortable and you don't do things differently you don't seek out different things you don't seek out things that will help you grow as a person you're just gonna stay the same and if you're not happy with who you are right now but you're not gonna you know do the things that you're scared of you're never gonna get to the person that you wanna be. Because if you're not happy with who you are now and you keep doing the same thing, you're gonna be the same person. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like You can't expect to change and do the same exact things day in and day out. You're just gonna be the same person. Um, and that's one harsh lesson I had to, that's one harsh lesson I had to learn myself but yeah, it's crazy to think that this is actually happening to anyone out there that's kind of uncomfortable or going through a lot. Just know that the things you go through are, you're going through them for a reason. It's gonna mold you and evolve you as a person into who you wanna be. Yeah, I don't know, it's low key a little sad. <laughs> um because you're literally, you're kind of like killing an old self. Um, even coming back here, because I was out in Arizona, even coming back here after I was out there for a total of like a month, I was there, came back here, then flew back, 
anyway um so i was there for about a month and just coming back here like i was excited to come back but then i came back and i just felt like that old person again even though i wanted to evolve and i want to change and i want to step into that person that i actually want to be it like when you come back to old things it kind of pulls you back into those old ways and then you kind of you kind of see yourself falling into those ways but I'm doing this because I know I'll have tremendous growth. I know it will do things for me in my life that I never thought I could imagine. Um, things haven't been easy by all means whatsoever. Things have been pretty tough lately. Just overall in life, it's been hard for me to do a lot of things just because I'm trying to process everything and make sure, not even make sure, just understand like that this is actually happening this is real like i said yeah it's an emotional roller coaster life that's what life is to be honest um and i'm excited to see what this will do for me in my life i will be trying to post more on youtube at least every other week it's not topics either about fitness um, self-improvement things like that let me know what you guys want to see as far as this channel um like i said i do a lot of fitness things on my other social media like my tiktok instagram and facebook reels and obviously my youtube shorts as well but let me know what kind of like longer like videos you guys want to see on my channel whether it's fitness topics like i said self-improvement things um self-help type things or just topics in general that you guys want me to talk about um but personally i'm going to be doing a lot of kind of fitness things or just things like i'm that's, that are happening in my life at the time that i just kind of want to elaborate on just kind of vent on about because honestly this youtube channel for me is just kind of a good thing i'm not gonna lie and kind of want to relate to other people and help other people understand they're not alone in like how they're feeling and things like that because it's not going through something and like thinking like you're the only one going through it it sucks for sure and so i'm not here i, I want to be on here to kind of relate to other people and just to help them feel more not help them not feel so alone at the end of the day Yes, I am moving across the country. It's crazy, it's exciting, it's scary. I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm... Everything in the books right now. But you know, everything's gonna work out. That's all I tell myself, because I know it is. Um, I know I'll get to where I wanna be. I know I'll become the person I wanna be. And just staying in the moment, being present, is what's gonna help me do that. Thinking about the past and looking into the future too much will get you anxious, will get you depressed, will kind of not, you won't be able to focus on what you're trying to do. You'll, you'll be focusing on the future and what you wanna get or the past and what happened and that's not gonna help you at all. You have to focus on right now and just keep going and understand that everything is happening for a reason. There's a, re there's a reason all these things happen in your life. You don't go through crazy stuff just for nothing. It does something to you to become something. It does something to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to be posting at least a one video every other week. So stay tuned for those. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Subscribe here on YouTube at JRealHack. And as always, keep grinding. Peace.